Hello friends, I am Ayam Melfons from Horizon Academy. Today's video is about pressure reducing wall. We have uh, seen pressure relief wall and this is the pressure reducing wall. What is the if, if in system, in hydraulic system already there is a pressure relief wall and then why there is a need of pressure reducing wall. Basically pressure reducing wall is in hydraulic system is needed when, when your prime wall is operating under one such condition that your prime wall is generating 30 bar pressure and in system, in hydraulic system one actuator is, is of 30 bar pressure and another actuator is 10 bar, 10 bar pressure. Then you can't operate this actuator on your same prime wall. Okay. So there is a we have to reduce pressure for this hydraulic actuator and for for reducing pressure from 30 bar to 10 bar we have we are using pressure reducing wall in certain portion of your hydraulic circuit there is a, if there is a need of less pressure then you are using this pressure reducing wall in any hydraulic system there must be pressure relief wall pressure relief wall hota hi hota hai lekin pressure reducing wall होगा या नहीं होगा आपके सिस्टम के रिक्वायरमेंट के ऊपर डिपेंड है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अबाउट प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल इन प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल देयर इज अ वॉल बॉडी इन व्हिच देयर इज अ वन फिनिश्ड बोर्ड इनसाइड व्हिच देयर आर टू स्पूल्स ठीक दिस टू स्पूल्स आर माउंटेड विद स्प्रिंग एडजस्टिंग एंड प्रेशर सेटिंग स्क्रू देयर इज प्रेशर पोर्ट पी अनदर पोर्ट ए एंड दिस इज द पैसेज passage x okay now consider first case that you have set you have set this wall for 30 bar pressure and your output pressure is 15 bar so continuously oil will flow from p port through this cavity to a port means here pressure is 30 bar and here you will get 15 bar pressure but Suppose that when this pressure due to some reason increased, due to some reason increased and get 35. When this condition arises, oil come will come from this portion and going towards A portion. But at the same time, this oil will go in passage X. When this oil goes in passage X, this oil, excess oil will exert pressure on this side of our spool. And this spool will move towards right side. When this spool moves towards right side, your this this cavity will get some get some block. And now due to this blockage, your excess pressure is also blocked here. And again, you are getting same pressure. If pressure is rise, this will, spool will move towards right. And again, your output pressure will be same. There is no change in your output pressure. This is how. Pressure reducing wall works. Okay, thank you.